Cosmo with the pro. We got the former welterweight champion, Showtime Sean Porter in the flesh. We just finished up the press conference for Lomachenko, Devin Haney. How we doing? Man, let's look at what's happening. I'm not doing well now because of you. But I, I am enjoying you, man. You know that. Well, the schmo and Showtime together, we attract a crowd. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is what it is, but I love the... Oh, wait. Nope. Not yet. Not yet. That was hilarious. Yeah, but they're not going to see that, man. Oh, you should show them. You should show them. At least so I don't look stupid. Like, I don't know what I'm talking about. But you always know what you're talking about. That's why we're speaking with do you. Do behind the scenes, like, replay, recap, like, do something so that they know what I'm talking about. You need, You guys need to see it. When he gets into a character... It's and he kills it, but you should see him before character. You guys don't get to see him before. Did they get to see you before character? No. Or they don't get to see you as as the schmo. Only the schmo. Yeah. Only see y'all need to see the other John Doe. <laughs> all right. All right. Come all right. on. Help for me another help time. Dying. For Let's another. Do it. Let's do it. Let's we'll do it. it another time. But talk to the schmo for a second, man. You saw them on stage, Devin Haney, Lomachenko. They faced off. Yeah. Who do you favor in that type of face-off, or who got the best of who? I know it doesn't matter for Saturday evening, but yeah. what's your reaction to that? No, I mean, uh, that, that, that was just that was a press conference face-off. Especially, I mean, you could see early on that Vasily is just not interested in talking. He's not really interested in, in the, you know, the, the verbal war, you know. So I think it was just going through the motions for um, – for for Fazili and I really don't expect it to be serious for him until fight night. I think that you get to a point where you've got experience, you know who you are, what you're gonna do, and it doesn't take a press conference for you to to uh, to appease other people. And we could see that Vasily was never going to take it there, you know. Where does Showtime Sean Porter put the winner of this fight Saturday evening on boxing's pound for pound rankings? I don't do pound for pound, man. I just think that there's a lot of great fighters out there and it's really hard to determine who's the best of all that's great. But when you do take a look at uh, the fact that Devin has all four titles, he's undisputed, youngest ever in his weight class, you just have to tip your hat to him and say, hey, you deserve to be in the top. 10 especially or the top five especially given the fact that you went and took those belts from from a statesman and then went back and kept those belts away from the statesman you know what i mean so i think that um he he belongs in the top five he belongs top six at the least and i think that this fight will certainly solidify uh devin should he win it and of course shaloma win and i think that he he does something amazing and i think that he deserves the credit for that too so this is one of the biggest fights boxing can make, but let's talk about the next one after this. The winner of this fight, who would you like them see next? Is it a Shakur Stevenson? Is it a Gervonta Tank Davis? We're only talking about making the biggest fights possible in this great sport of boxing. Yeah, I mean, when you, when you say both of those fights are, are unique, fantastic fights in their own rights, you know? So I think the, 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 the whispers are to see Shakur Stevenson against Devin. They're both under that, that top rank umbrella and makes all the sense in the world. I think the best fight to be made in the boxing right now is Shakur, excuse me, Shakur and, and Tank. I think that that's the best fight to be made in boxing, but followed directly up by either those, 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 uh, upon, those gentlemen in the ring with, with Devin Haney. I think that, you know, Devin is, I think he's going to do some things, uh, on Saturday night that really, it, 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 it gets him the respect that he's probably been looking for for some time now. You're showing the schmo the Porter way. Your boxing mind is second to none. You're always working. You're always busy. How's the retired life? Because it doesn't seem like you're retired. You're always working. I'm not. I'm not retired. Um, I'm, I'm always busy, always doing something. And uh, I like to say that I'm, I'm living the life that I always wanted to live after boxing. And it, it's just amazing. One thing after another, man. Loving life. And it's all good with the who yes. Who yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't hit that either, did I? Yeah. Not other the schmo. Yeah, <laughs> no, you did. You do it again, and then I'll clear my throat, and, and I'll do it again. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I got to get the E in there. Yeah, I had to, I had to separate mine from you. They wouldn't know the difference with if they closed their eyes. You know what I mean? Of course, of course. Can we get a final message for all the Showtime fans out there worldwide? Man, keep following the schmo. Great guy um, from day one. Ever since I met you, man, you have not changed at all. You're 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 unique in what you do. I love it. Can't wait to have you on the podcast, man. You got, I got to get you in the show. Anytime. Come on. Yeah, let's make that happen. We'll talk about that. We'll do it. All right. It's on camera now. Yeah, it's done. He's the pro. I'm the schmo. MGM Grand. We're out.